as a travel vlogger, one of the top questions that I get asked from you guys and from everybody is what my favorite places that I've ever been to are, or what my favorite countries are. And the Galapagos Islands always makes the cut. Now, the Galapagos Islands are a group of volcanic islands off the coast of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. And because of the isolated terrain, it hosts a number of plant and animal species that are found nowhere else on the planet. It is also famous because in 1835, a Mr. Charles Darwin landed on the islands and it's where he developed his theory of evolution. And the reason why it's one of my favorite places in the world to visit is because they have an ecosystem like no other and you truly feel like you were on another planet when you were visiting the Galapagos Islands because there is just animals everywhere like you are just surrounded by animals all the time and you wonder what is this like this is earth this is animal plant like ah it's it's very overwhelming and exciting and special at the same time you'll just turn a corner and there'll be like a pelican hanging out there you'll walk down to the beach and there'll be seals or sea lions just chilling on the benches everywhere you go the boardwalks will be full of lizards there's just animals everywhere it's just so symbiotic the animals just aren't afraid of you because well we haven't been mean to them yet I was gonna use the other word, but let's just put that. We haven't, as humans, been very cruel to these animals yet, so they're not really afraid of us. So, I went to the Galapagos in 2013 with Kintiki. That was the youth tour company that I worked with before in the past. They were launching their Galapagos tours, and so I was invited to come down there for a really, really special trip that was gonna be exploring the islands, seeing their new tour, and hanging out with Celine Cousteau. So we got to go down there and do some environmental work with Kentucky and Celine Cousteau. And the environmental work that we were going to be contributing and helping out with was Shark Count. Shark Count. Now, Shark Count is put on by Shark Savers, which is an organization designed to help sharks and try and increase and improve the amount of shark awareness and shark populations in the ocean because sharks are really important to a healthy ecosystem in the ocean and sharks are also fairly misunderstood. So Shark Count is a program where divers or snorkelers or any other recreational swimmers that just so happen to be around sharks can log and count the sharks that they see on their dive to kind of help um, keep track of populations of sharks in various areas around the world. Of course, if we were gonna be participating in Shark Count, we were gonna be swimming with sharks. And I've never swam with sharks before. And the area in the Galapagos that we were gonna be doing the shark count in was called Kicker Rock. It is off the coast of San Cristobal, and it is this volcanic rock formation that is the prime spot in the Galapagos to find sharks. And that's because of the way that the currents kind of smash into the rocks. It kicks up a whole lot of nutrients, so there's a lot of food. It's a lot of different fishes, fishes, fish, 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 a lot of different fish come around and there's a lot of different species that like to feed in this area. And in particular, there is a channel that you can swim through, that there is a current that'll take you from one end of the channel to the other end of the channel. So a couple things that were going through my head at the moment before I jumped into the ocean full of sharks. First off, is swimming with sharks safe? Because there wasn't just gonna be like one shark there. There's gonna be a lot of sharks there. Why yes, my friends, it is. Shark attacks, first off, are statistically very, very rare in the grand scheme of things that can kill you or hurt you in this world. I mean, there's about 10 people a year that die from shark attacks. Another thing to note is the type of sharks that you're gonna be swimming with. So we were gonna be swimming with Galapagos, white tip reef sharks, and hammerhead sharks. So all of those are very, very, I don't wanna say friendlier sharks, but they're not great white sharks. They're, they're pretty chill sharks. I mean, hammerheads are scared of bubbles. Mosquitoes, on the other hand, kill hundreds of thousands of people every year. Mosquitoes are far more dangerous than sharks. Another thing to note is if you stay in groups. So we were always swimming in groups. It's like snorkeling in groups. If you stay in groups, a shark is not gonna come up and attack a big group of humans. We don't really taste very good, but realistically the only reasons humans get attacked by sharks is because they mistake us for prey or it's our own fault just straight up our own fault. That being said, the thought of jumping into an ocean full of them 
Still very frightening. Still very frightening. Before jumping into this ocean full of sharks, which are gonna be probably one of the most exciting, memorable experiences of my life to capture on video, both of my cameras died. So it was me and my sister on this trip together and we were on the tour group, the Kentucky group, and we were snorkeling a little bit before in a different bay before we went to the shark kicker rock area. And we were swimming around with seals. So my sister had a waterproof camera at the time and I had a GoPro at the time. So we we're both using it in the water. So after our first stop with the seals and the beautiful sandy white beaches, we got back on the boat to head out to Kicker Rock and we put our cameras in this bucket of uh, clean water because that's how you keep your cameras from getting all rusty. In between salt water swims, you put it in just a bucket of clean water. Two things happened on that ride to our next spot. First is my sister's camera, the seal, leaked and we got water into the camera. So we were looking at it and we were like, oh my God, this camera is busted, it's broken. Don't worry though, I've got a GoPro and we'll be fine. So we arrive at Kicker Rock, I go to take my GoPro out of the bucket of water and I realized that I had left it on for the whole half hour journey out to Kicker Rock and the battery had died, like completely died. So now both of our cameras we're gone and we had no other cameras with us to go swim in the ocean. Uh, we had our big camera still that we were filming on land, but no other water cameras. And we were just about to jump in again to the ocean with about 50 sharks. And now we had no cameras to capture it. As a travel vlogger, I will tell you right now, this is one of the most saddest, disappointing, emotionally wrecking things that can ever happen to you. You're doing something amazing and you can't capture it on camera because your cameras are broken or ran out of battery. Luckily though, we were in a group and so I asked around really nicely to see if there's anybody that could lend me a camera so I can at least do one of the jumps because we are gonna be doing two jumps into the ocean to do the swim through the channel, then the boat pick us up and then we jump in again, swim through the channel. One of my friends, thank you so much, let me his camera. All is good on the camera front and now we are ready to jump in the water with 50 sharks. Five seconds after I got in, I started looking around and oh my gosh, you guys. Like it started as one of the most stressful, like, oh my gosh, 50 sharks, like a whole bunch of sharks. What's gonna happen? To like utter total peace. Like it was so peaceful because these sharks, they were just like, you just look down and they'd be just like, sharks there, sharks to the right, like just sharks just swimming, but they were so chill. They were just like doing the little shark thing. And you didn't have to swim because the current was just pushing you through this opening, like this channel in the rocks. And so you just kind of like float it there. You look down and just, just floated with some sharks. It was so cool. It was so cool. And there were stingrays and there were turtles. I couldn't quite capture them on camera because they were like lower down near the bottom. So if you were good at free diving, you could like go down and get a little bit closer to them. But oh my gosh, you guys. And then we hopped back on the boat, it took us around. We got to do it again. And the second time around, it's even better because the first time around, you didn't really know what to expect. You were just kind of like, ah, and you're like, whoa. And the second time you're like, all right, I'm ready for this. I am ready for this. So jump back in. And this time I didn't actually have a camera on me like because I only borrowed my friend's camera for the first jump because he took it on the second jump so he could get his own footage and photos, which was really, again, really nice of him to even let us. So the second time, I had no cameras, no nothing, and it was just, which again is rare for me <laughs> as a travel vlogger to not have a camera on me. Oh, and again, back to shark count. We were counting the sharks at the time, so we were making like notes of like what types of sharks we saw. Like as we were swimming, we had like a little clipboard that was waterproof, you can make notes. So we got back to the boat and that was that. We recorded the sharks. So totally easy conservation work, by the way. Like anybody can do it. And we got to have such an amazing experience. Didn't disturb any of the wildlife. Just observing it from afar. Maybe not that afar, pretty close. So that is my swimming with sharks story time. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I hope it has inspired you to go to the Galapagos Islands yourself, honestly. 
I always recommend it. If you can do it, go because it is one of the most I just feel like you're on another planet. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you've ever swam with sharks before, like, or anywhere else, because I know there are different areas that you can swim with sharks, like whale sharks, for example, Mexico. And yeah, I'll see you guys again in a few days' time with another video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, etc. Love y'all.